To engraving with the flash drive, here's what you need. Laser Pecker LP5, 1.5 meter USB-A to USB-C cable, flash drive, which is included in toolbox, laptop, the cell phone. Start by powering on the Laser Pecker LP5 and connecting the 1.5 meter USB cable. Plug the other end of the cable into your laptop. Insert the flash drive into the laptop as well. Then, open the LDS software and connect your LP5. Navigate to the left panel and choose your desired shape. Unlock the aspect ratio lock, then enter the width and height based on your ideal size. Once done, lock the ratio again to maintain proportions. Head over to the Laser Engraving Settings panel. Underline section, set up the laser source and pass for the test array. Leave the power and depth as it is because the parameters is already preset from the test array. Click on Grid, then select Material Test Array. Set the power and depth range according to what you want to test. Adjust the number of columns and rows. Give your test array a name that makes it easy to identify. Set the spacing between each element in the array. Once everything is set, click OK. Click on the test array and choose Ungroup. Select the text labels and adjust their size if needed. Then select the entire design and group everything back together. Head over to the Laser Engraving Settings panel. Under the Fill section, adjust the settings for all the text elements in the array. Resize the test array to fit your material. Finally, use the Center function to align the file properly on the canvas. Once everything is ready, go to the File menu and export your design as an LPB file. A confirmation window will pop up once the export is complete. Save the file to the Laser Pecker Files folder and give it a name you'll remember. Navigate to the left panel and select your desired shape. Adjust the size as needed. Then click Fill. Head over to the Laser Engraving Settings panel. Under the Fill section, adjust the settings for the test array include all the text elements in the array. Once all set, follow the same steps as shown earlier to complete the test array setup and export the LPB file. Import the photo you want to test. Go to the Effect panel and switch the mode to Dithering. If you're engraving on dark materials or metal, make sure to invert the photo first. Set up the sides, then go to Laser Engraving Settings panel. Under the Pictures section, set the resolution, choose the laser source, and adjust the pass count. These settings will directly affect how the photo is engraved. If you are using the fiber laser, make sure you set up the laser frequency as well. Then follow the same steps as before to finish setting up the test array. Once all set, go back to the Laser Engraving Settings section. Under Fill, set up all parameters for all the text elements in the test array. Finally, export the LPB file to the flash drive. Insert the flash drive into the back of the LP5. In the LDS software, go to the left panel and click the flash drive icon. Choose your file and preview it. Place your material according to the preview box and adjust the focal distance as needed. Once everything is set, start the engraving process. Disconnect the LP5 from the LDS software and unplug the USB cable. Insert the flash drive into the back of the LP5. Open the LDS mobile app and connect to your LP5. Tap User, then select USB flash drive files. 
Scroll through the list to find your file and tap the eye icon to preview it. Position your material based on the preview box. Adjust the focal distance as needed. When you're ready, tap Next to begin the engraving process. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the Laser Pecker support team at support at laserpecker.com. Thank you for watching.